Hello! Today we're going to be looking at unusual animals. Now, some of these animals might look like they've been made up. They might even look like they are Pokemon. But I promise you, all of these animals are real. They might not be near where you live, but these animals are real animals. Let's have a look at the unusual animals and all the different facts about them. Our first animal. This is a red-lipped batfish. Its lifespan is 12 years. Now lifespan means is how long it lives for. The habitat, which means where it lives, is in the deep waters in the Galapagos Islands. Ooh, very interesting. The unusual feature about this animal is its bright red lips. That looks like it's wearing bright red lipstick. A fun fact, they are not good swimmers, even though they live in the water. And instead they use their fins to walk on the bottom of the ocean. It's a smart way of getting around not having to swim. All right, what's our next animal? This is a lowland streaked tenric. Look at its spiky mane. The lifespan of this animal is 2.7 years, so it doesn't live for very long. The habitat, so that's where it lives, is in the lowland tropical rainforest in Madagascar. Its unusual feature is its yellow and black spiky exterior. I'm sure no animal would want to go near this spiky little creature. You might get a pinprick. A fun fact about this animal is they can communicate to each other using their quills. I wonder how that works. Maybe they can move their spiky quills around to wave hello. Or maybe it's like sign language that we have. That's so interesting. Alright, I've heard of this one before. And if I've taught you before, I've probably shown you this incredible animal. Now I'll make sure, or I'm hoping that I'm saying it right, it's called the Glaucus Atlanticus. This one definitely looks like a Pokemon. That's because a Pokemon was actually based on this real life animal. The lifespan of this animal is 1 to 12 months, so it doesn't live very long. The habitat where it lives is mild and tropical waters across the ocean. I know that these guys live in certain areas in the oceans near Australia and New Zealand. The unusual feature is its bright blue body and feathery wings, so it looks like it's gracefully flying. A fun fact is they swallow air that sits in their tummies and it helps them to float. So maybe when they come up to the water, they take in a big gulp of air and it helps them float to the top. That's so cool. All right, this one is quite cute. It is a Venezuelan poodle moth. The lifespan of this poodle moth is eight to nine months. So again, it doesn't live for very long. The habitat where it lives is in Canaima National Park in Venezuela. That's probably why it's called the Venezuelan poodle moth. The unusual feature is its fuzzy or furry coats with the big feathery antenna. Those are the two bits coming out the top of its head. So the fur that's on the outside of the poodle moth is used for smelling things around it, but also to keep it safe. All right, this one is pretty cool. It's called an occupy, I think. I hope I'm saying that right. The lifespan of the occupy is 30 years, so these guys live for quite a long time. The habitat that they live in is the Aturi Forest in the Central Africa. An unusual feature it has is its striped legs that kind of look like a zebra. A fun fact is they use their smelly feet to mark their territory, so funny smells come off the bottom of their feet and when they're walking around, they're leaving little imprints and leaving funny smells to say, hey, this is my zone, go away. All right, look at this little cutie. It's called the pink fairy armadillo. The lifespan of these guys is five to 10 years. The habitat where you can find these is in central Argentina. An unusual feature is that it has a pink shell and they have big, long claws. Now, the pink shell looks like it's quite strong, so it's probably able to defend them or keep them safe. 
A fun fact is they can burrow through sand and soil the same way that a fish swims through water. So these armadillos are able to move through sand and soil quite easily. Now it is your activity time. You have just seen a whole bunch of really interesting animals. I wonder if you'd heard of them before or if they were all brand new to you. Now again, I promise they are all real animals. They're not made up, they're all real. But you are gonna be making up some of your own animals because some of those animals had such interesting features that could have been made up. I thought that I know you guys would be so creative and you can create your own animals. So up on the screen is the template that you can use to draw your animal in the box and then you can fill in the different parts, coming up with the name of your made up animal, the lifespan, so how long it lives, the habitat, where it lives, an unusual feature about your animal, and then you need to come up with one or more fun facts about your animal. So repeat that, you're gonna draw and make up your own animal. It's your animal so it can look however you would like. And then you need to fill in these parts about it. Name, lifespan, habitat, unusual feature, and a fun fact. And then I know that you definitely need to share these made up animals with the people in your family. Maybe you could take a photo of what you've drawn and you can send it to some of your friends and ask them if they can make up an animal as well. Now I hope you have fun with that activity. Remember there are lots of other videos that can help you with your distance learning and learning for home over on the Touring Teacher YouTube page. So go have a look over there and I will see you very soon.